Master of all. Thank you for today. Thank you for the ways in which you provide for us. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our heart and mind now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your internal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, so once again, good morning. So before we will start, let me remind you of some uh, online protocols while doing our online class. Again, please or always open your camera no, for the checking of attendance. And for example, if you were going to recite, please unmute your speaker. So always mute your speaker if you were going to listen. Now, to start, let us read our objectives for this morning. May I request um, Carla Jane Escalada to read objective number one. Carla, Carla Jane. Wala akong makita po, sir. Ay, hindi, hindi naka-project ang PowerPoint ko. Colors ako nakita, sir. Okay, sige, wait lang. Siguro sa signal. Wait lang, ha? Okay, how about that? Ayan. Can you see na, Miss Carla? Yes, po, sir. Okay, go. Please read objective number one. Objective number one. Determine the guidelines in drawing, in drawing conclusion and formulating recommendation of particular quantitative research paper. Number two. Okay. Draw a conclusion. Yes. Number okay, two, objective number one only. Ay, okay po, sir. Yes. So first, you will going to determine what are the guidelines in drawing a conclusion and formulating recommendation of a particular quantitative research paper. For objective number two, Cherry and Absalon, please read. Draw a conclusion out of the research finding presented and... Okay, so later I will be showing some research findings and then let's try if you can draw some conclusion. And for objective number three, Miss Christine, please read. Formulate recommendations based from the research findings presented. Okay, so later you will going to formulate recommendation based from the research findings presented. Okay, so as part of our review, let's have a very short game entitled Four Picks in One Word. You will going to try to guess the word in the four pick in the four picture. So type your answer in our chat box. Are you ready? Are you ready, students? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, see. So yes, I will yes. give one point in each picture that can guess. Okay, picture number one. What is the word? You can chat in the chat box. Yes, Ecleo, wrong. Shane Habanya, correct. The word is statistics, correct. Next word. Our next next picture. Abanya got one point. I'll try to guess this picture. Okay, clue. It seems that you can't answer the picture. What is the word? You need to? Yes, sir. No, no, sir. Okay, very good. No need. Queenie Joy Fabiliary got the correct word. The correct word is technique. So we have now the first word statistics, second word is technique. Okay, so 
So, Havania, one point. Fabiore, one point. Next word. What is that? Write your answer in the chat box. Yes, very good. Miss Ikleo got the correct answer. The correct answer is tools. So we have statistics, technique, and tools. I think this is the last picture. What is that? What is the word? Correct. Sino yung nauna? Wait lang. Ang bilis mag comment. <laughs> Ang bilis mag chat. Yes, Miss Jerlyn Ogabang got the correct answer. The word is research. Yes. So, actually, this picture relates with our lesson last week on week six. It's more on statistical tools and statistical technique, right? So, when we do research, we need statistics. Actually, um, unfortunately, last meeting, since we have unstable internet connection, hindi masyadong na-emphasize yung ating lesson. But my question is, how can mathematics relate to our subject, practical research too? Can anybody share how mathematics is important with our lesson? Anybody? Anybody from the loop can share how statistics, how math helps us in doing a research? Nobody is raising their hand. Can I call some names? Miss Ecleo, Rixie Joy, Vicente. Sir? How mathematics or statistics? Yes, Miss Ecleo. I know, sir, it is important. I know mathematics, sir, is important in research, sir, because I know, sir, for me, sir, I know, I know in, I know in study, sir, we need to, I know, sir, we need math, I know, sir, in, in analyzing, I uh, know, sir, research or study. Yes. I'm not sure. Very sir. good. So, for example, when you conducted, uh, when you conducted your survey questionnaire, so you were going to analyze some of the numbers. So statistics is very important. Since practical research, so it's all about quantitative research. So we involve ourselves with numbers. Okay, very good. Another idea. Mr. Vicente? Because, sir, we use it for calculation and for counting, sir, for the statistics. Yes, correct. So unlike qualitative research, we conducted in-depth interview. Uh, we don't have the numbers. It's more on the words that we use to interpret results. But here in quantitative research, numbers are very important. Yes, so, so we can interpret some of the results using numbers. Okay, now let's proceed with our activity number two. This is picture analysis. So you were going to observe this picture and what is your conclusion when you see this picture? Okay, so also I have here my guide question. What comes into your mind when you see the picture and how this picture help you to conclude something? Okay, if you want to recite, please raise your hand in the loop so that you will be recognized. Okay, anybody can give an idea? Yes, Miss Rexy Joy Pakulba. For me, sir, I observe in the picture smoke, sir. Okay, smoke. And when there is a smoke? My pass uh, there, is a pass there is a possibility that a person is using cigarettes, sir, or, or a motor, sir. <laughs> okay, so meaning somebody is having a cigarette and then there is a smoke. Okay, thank you for your conclusion, Ms. Pakulba. Other student wants to share their idea about the picture? Yes, Irish is on. Um, the the, the picture was all about smoke, sir, and the conclusion that came first to my mind was if, there's, if there is a smoke, there is a fire po, sir. Okay, very good. So, 
uh, obviously, when there is a smoke, there is a fire. Okay, very good. Brilliant students. At least you can now conclude. When you see some pictures, you can conclude in your mind what are the causes of that smoke. Okay, so very good. You have different ideas, different perception in doing conclusions. Now, let's have another activity. Let's um, entitle this activity, Conclude Me. You will going to select a partner and write two sentences, conclusions from the given statements below. Send your answer using Mintimeter and don't forget to write your name together with your partner. So I will be giving you the link. You will going to give your conclusions using Mintimeter. Okay, so what is the statement? Please read our statement number one, Miss Pakulba, letter A. Males have better IQ, IQ than females. Females could easily okay. learn language than males. Yes, yeah, so that is letter B. Females could easily learn language than males. So please select your partner and then uh, we will going to read your answer using the link given below. So I will be uh, posting the link in our group chat. Okay. And then you try to write your answer or your conclusion using this link. Ayan. Please click the link and then please give your conclusion out of that statement. Okay. Again, I will be showing to you the question. Please do the screenshot. The question is, males, are you agreed that males have better IQ than females? And females could easily learn language than males. Okay? Na screenshot na? Na screenshot na class? Yung statement? Yes, po, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, very yes, good. Sir. Now, I will be waiting you in the Mintimeter, okay? Let's proceed and please send your answer using Mintimeter, okay? Please don't forget to write your name, okay? Did you try to click the link? Hello, students. Try to write down, Jen Ivan. Please click the link and then try to write your name and send. Okay. Okay. Wait, sir. Just click the link. Okay. Click the link and then state your answer there. Wait. If you can see the link, I will be again or sending the link in our GC. Okay. Ecleo, very good. I can see the answer of Miss Ecleo. Ecleo, who is your partner? So, is this your first time? Yes, okay, so, okay, yes. just chat your answer and your name. So, very clear no? in our board, only Miss Ecleo got the access in our Mintimeter. So, congrats, Miss Ecleo. Ayan. Also, we have here Rexy Joy Pakulba. Ayon. Very good, Miss Pakulba. She is she is now registered with our Mintimeter. Just click the link. And then try to write your answer using Mintimeter. The question is, 
uh, are you agree that males are better or have better IQ compared to females and females are and females could easily learn language than males meaning females are good in language compared to males meaning they can pronounce they can express words compared to males okay So, Ms. Ikleyo, who is your partner again? I soon for sure. So, this activity is intended for 20 minutes. So, let's have a timer. Para you are guided with our time. Bongga lang sa online, no? Kasi we can do YouTube, we can enjoy. Okay, for 20 minutes. Or if you can access, please go to www.menti.com and use the code 40435071. Okay. So let us read your answer. After the presentation, yes, um, you will go into answer this guide question based on the activity how can we draw a conclusion so here is our rubrics for your next activity which is you will going to have our pair reporting so our rubrics for reporting content five points organization and expression so when we say content the answer is comprehensive, accurate, and clean, and will support in identifying organization. Okay? So, let's check kung may nag-send na. Okay, meron na nagsagot. Walang name. <laughs> Kaninong answer ito? Say, ako, nalimutan ko ang name. I told you to post your name or write your name. Can you answer it to students? Yes, Jenna. Jenna? I don't know the name, sir. Is this your answer? Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Okay, please read your answer. Who is your partner, Miss Jaina? Miss Agas? Who is your partner? I say I will be taking note. The ano, I will be listing your names for for the points. Wala kang partner, Miss Jaina? Leo Gabang, sir. Ah, okay. Jaina, Agas, and Miss Ogabang. Yes, can you read your answer? And explain. For me, the intelligence has been adjusted so that there they have an equal between males and females IQ, sir. Okay. So meaning, for you, we have the same IQ. Yes, sir. Okay. So walang dominant if it is male or female. For you, we have the same IQ. Okay, very good, Miss Kagas and Ugabang. So now, let's proceed with another answer. Okay, eto. Yan. Kaninong answer ito? Ako, answer. No? Yes, Miss Keith Reese. Who is your partner? Miss Dohali. 
Wala, sir. Okay, walang partner. Okay, please read your answer and explain. The gender of a person has nothing to do with their IQ. It is true that some male have a better IQ, but also female can have better IQ too. Ano, sir? Pantay lang sila. Okay, so equal, no? There is no gender in terms of IQ. <laughs> it is true also that some male have better IQ, but also female can have a better IQ. Kaya nga in our gender and development, no, dapat equally divided. So for example, in a position kung kaya ng lalaki, for now, kaya na din ng mga babae. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Duhale. Let's read another answer. Okay, from Ecleo and Ison. Go. Please read your answer. Our conclusion on that is that intelligence is no gender because we're all equal. Also, we conclude that males have better IQs because they have larger brain than female. Okay. Why Miss Ecleo? <laughs> Where did you Sir? base your answer? Did you research? Did you research? Did you scan in Google? Or it's your own opinion? I know for my answer, sir, no, ano, same kami answer na, and then as ano, sir, sa no, una, una nga sentence, sir, muna gid ako ng answer, sir. Ano, sir, nang gi, ano, ko lang sa ako, okay. sir, sir. Okay, very yes, very good. So meaning we can conclude that uh intelligence is no gender because we are all equal, correct? But okay, in some point you concluded that males have better IQs because they have larger brain than males. So many books no conclude that males have larger brain talaga. Kaya medyo ma siguro malalaki ang mga ulo ng mga lalaki. <laughs> because they have a larger oh, brain uh, than female. But my question is, in terms of maturity, he is um, who is more mature? Is it the male or the female? For example, in the, the female, relationship. Sir. I think, sir, female, sir. Okay. The female, sir. As in? Kaya gani For sabi me, nila. Uh, why, why male, Mr. Miss Rexy Joy? Kay ano sir, nang kadalasan sa ila sir, nang mga ano sir, nang tawag siya na. Mga ano? Uh, nang mga ano, good sir, nang gina, ano nila ila relationship sa ano, nang dili good sila kayo, artist sir, nang kapag sa babae, abay pala decision. <laughs> ano sir, nang female food sir, kay di ba okay. sabong sir, kay ano, Ano sa bang mga lalaki? Halos sa mga lalaki, subong sir, kayo wala'y trabaho, sir. So, gi, ano na po nga female ang mas mature? Okay. So, according to some love expert, oh, this is their conclusion. So, for example, when you are looking for a partner, for example, if you're a female, dapat you select more yung parang may edad na lalaki kasi in terms of maturity, no, parang nauunang nagiging mature ang uh, mga babae. But I guess, females are more emotional. Are you agree with me? No? Kailangan yes, yung mga babae kasi they are emotional, meaning we should appreciate them every day. For example, you look beautiful, you are sexy, and kapag hindi pinapansin, nag-emote-emote, -emote, tama ba? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yung mga boys kasi, boys are not showy, no? Compared to females, they are more emotional. Kaya nga, yung mga mothers natin, for example, they are more loving compared with our father, no? Kasi our father are the one searching for food, pero ang mga mothers natin, talagang they are the one giving us advices. Mas malapit tayo minsan sa ating mga mother. Okay. Now, let's Read another answer from Escalada and Habania. According to them, our conclusion is that females have better IQ than males because we female can learn and can do multitask. Wow! What is your opinion, Mr. Vicente? <laughs> 
Females Everyone are can do multitask, man, sir. Nan. Okay. Sige. Sige. Uh, any comment, Miss Escalada and Habanya? What do you mean it's by it's multitasking? Sir, yes. example, sir, words ng about sa studying. Sir, we can study example ng many subjects, sir. Tapos, ang boy, sir, is mga one subject lang ilagin na studyhan po, sir. Ganyan lang po. Okay. Ayan. So, para <laughs> you are telling us that females can study uh, many subjects compared to males. Kaya, ano, minsan, no, mga lalaki tamad talaga mag-study. Okay. Sige. How about for Mr. Vicente? For me, when it comes to intelligence, there is no perception about it, regardless of what gender you are. If you work hard, then your IQ will be better. Okay, agree? Are you agree with this answer? Yes, sir. Any reaction? Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> sige. I think this is the last um, answer that we were going to read because we were going to discuss by the steps. Uh, the gray matter volume in the frontal and parietal lobes correlates with IQ. Aba, kanino ito? Kanino answer ito? It's more scientific. Talagang gililate niya ang time into our lesson. Yes, Joven, can you explain further what do you mean by this? Bakit nakaabot ka sa mga gray matter in our brain? What is your idea? Gracious na nga, sir. Ha? Ano daw? Para mahina ang signal ni Joven. So, according to Joven, gray matter volume in the frontal and parietal lobes correlates with IQ. O, oh, nag-research lang siya on the Google, but lack of ano, follow-up. <laughs> so, parang dito, you're showing us that brains affect or the different lobes of our brain affects our or correlates with our IQ. So meaning that since kanina may nag-answer that males have bet, uh, bigger brains, so they have a better IQ. Yun ba yun? <laughs> Kasi lalaki itong si Mr. Joshua ba? Okay, sige. Now let's continue with our lesson. So thank you so much for your participation. So this time, let's proceed with our abst abstraction. So how to draw conclusions? So according to Fata Fatal Tado 2016, he emphasized that for any research project and any scientific discipline, drawing conclusion is the final and the most important part of the process. Even, for example, when we are facing a case, no, the conclusion of the judge is very important, uh, the conclusion of the people. So keep in mind the following concept. Number one, conclusion must have the value of argument of your research work. Kaya so for example, when you do research, Conclusion talaga is a very important because you will go to conclude no? the value of your argument of your research work. Second, always remember that conclusion is not a summary of your work because many students, many teachers, many professionals think that conclusion is just a summary of their research paper. Thus, it is a listing of a major outcomes derived from your research study. So always remember that a conclusion is the major outcomes derived from your research study. So don't state also what has been done in your work. Instead, bring out the outcome of the result and discussion in terms of statement. So I'm hoping that you will go to create a very good conclusion with your research paper. Ah, ito mga online class students, I'm hoping talaga that you are now well verse and know how to create a good conclusion. In addition, Bonton 2005 also stated that conclusion research provides you with important opportunities to demonstrate the readers your understanding of the research problem, which includes the following. What are those following? Number one, Miss Irish, please read. Miss Irish? Present. 
present the last word and the issues or gaps raised in your paper. Yes. So when you do your conclusion, you present the last word and the issues or gaps raised in your paper. Second, summarize your thoughts and convey the larger significance of your study. Third, identify how a gap in the literature has been addressed. Fourth, demonstrate the importance of your ideas. And fifth, introduce possible new or expanded ways of thinking about the research problem. Sometimes, um, doon lumalabas yung creativity natin in conclusion. No? In doing the conclusion of your research study. So here are the general rules of crafting conclusion of a quantitative research paper. First, state your conclusion clearly with simple language. Wag yung masyadong technical words. State your findings differ or support those others and why. Second, don't simply reiterate your results or the discussion of your results. Thus, provide synthesis of arguments presented in the paper. Okay? You will go into synthesis. Hindi lahat-lahat. Third, indicate opportunities for future research if you haven't done so high or so in the discussion section in your paper. So, for example, you are concluding, for example, your research is all about uh, factors on the absenteeism and tardiness of the students. And then you will not limit only on your conclusion. Why not suggest or open your research paper as an opportunity for some future research? Kasi may, may ka marami ka pang factors na hindi mo na discuss. Why not challenge or uh, encourage other researchers, other students to conduct more research. And number four, highlighting the need for further research provides the reader with evidences that you have an in-depth awareness of the research problem. That is according to Creswell 2012. And lastly, still, according to Creswell 2012, how to formulate the recommendation of the study? Because after the conclusion, you will go into recommend now. So in making recommendation in your research paper, you must show how your results support them. A recommendation should include, number one, specific items on what should be done, the steps required to implement policy and resources needed. Uh, Magre-recommend ka ngayon. For example, in our school, you recommend to put, oh, ganito, ganyan. Second, discussion of the benefits or benefits of the organization and what problem would be corrected or avoided. No? Kaya nga nagre-recommend ka. And last, general statement about the nature and timing of an evaluation plan that would be used to determine the effectiveness of a proposed policy. Why not to give, for example, for the school principal, uh, we, uh, I encourage to ganon. Uh, for the teachers, they should conduct more workshop in terms of, oh, I recommend ka ngayon. Okay? So for our last activity, you will going to draw, no? You will going to draw a conclusion out of the research findings presented below. Write your conclusion in the tablet. Kanina, we use Mintimeter. This time, let's try tablet.com and the link will be posted in our GC. Again, I will be going to copy the link Yes, and then we will. I will post it in our um, group chat. Again. So, what is the problem, or what is the research findings? At all. Oh. Please read, Mr. Rojas. A research finding. Ito gi conduct na research, and then we will make some conclusion. Oh, para mahina ang signal ni Rojas, ang bagal niya magbasa. How about Before... Christine Alaba? Ah, oh, yan. Yes, Rojas. Please read the statement. Poverty and unemployment seems to be a major problem for the respondents and if they do not have the resources to travel to the health services or have money for nutritional food, they will either def default treatment or take longer to be cured. Okay. So I hope you do the screenshots now before we will going to write your answer in the tablet.com. 
So according to the statement, according to a findings in research, that poverty and employment seem to be a major problem of the respondents. Kasi for example, sa inyo, when you conduct a research, so sometimes they said that, and according to research, that poverty talaga and employment seem to be a major problem of the respondents. And if they do not have the resources to travel to the health services or have money for nutritional food, they would either default treatment or take longer to be cured. Actually, it is applicable in our present situation today. No, For example, if you are poor, if you cannot afford in the hospital, in a private hospital, then you, saan ba napupunta yung mga walang masyadong pera? Saan kaya sila nagpa... Nagpapa-hospital pa ba sila? <laughs> Are you Self agree with the research finding? Yes, Miss Irish. Yes, Miss Carla yes. Shane. Uh, ang yes, mga, Irish. Ang mga unemployment ng mga wala good part, kung gusto nga tao, sir, kung sa pang nagkasakit sila, sir, ng self-care na lang, sir, sarili na lang, sila na lang nagapa, nagapaayaw pag nagainom sa ilang abulong po, sir. Yeah. Kaya gani, we should take good care of ourselves. Hindi, ngayon, since we are facing another variant of virus, so we should take good care of ourselves. Kasi according to our research, according to the findings, Omicron virus is very powerful compared to COVID-19. Meaning even you are vaccinated. No? Kasi ganon, nag evolve din ang mga virus. Meron din silang protection from vaccines. O ngayon, okay lang, may vaccine pa tayo. Pero later on, may madiscover na naman na bagong virus, makaka-adapt na naman. So, delikado. Okay? So, write your answers in the tablet.com. I will be waiting you in the tablet. Did you see the, ano, the um, link? Hello, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you see the link? Okay, very good. Yes, I want you to write your conclusions or recommendation using that statement that say that poverty is a major problem and unemployment to have access on health. Okay, see you later. I will be sending you the link again in our GC again, so that you can answer. Okay, so I will be waiting you. This is just a five minutes activity for our application. Also, don't forget to write your name while posting your answer in our tablet.com. Nine. Okay. Why not try to send me? So, uh, for example, send your name muna. Kung makita ko talaga. So, draw a conclusion out of the research findings presented below. So, kanina nag-present na ako. Yan. Maybe I will give additional of one point to the student who can give their answer kagan immediately. I mean, yung mabilis ang internet connection. <laughs> Makapost ka agad ng answer. Again, our statement is that poverty and unemployment seem to be a major problem for the respondents. And if they do not have the resources to travel to health services or have money for some nutritional foods, they would either default treatment or take longer to be cured. Yeah. Kaya gani dapat in time of pandemic, we should avoid yung mga gatherings, no? Kasi para hindi madaling ma-spread yung virus and Ano, ma-avoid talaga natin yung uh, pagkalat ng mga virus. Okay? Anybody? Ayan na. May nag-send na ba? Wala pa kung may nakikita in our padlet.com.
Okay, may nag-try na nag-send. Mr. Vicente, Ms. Ikleyo, try daw send ang inyong names. Ah, uh, sir, lapit na lang ko sa wait lang. Ah, okay. Hindi, I mean, kahit one letter lang, or simple word, para ma-check ko talaga. Actually, this is also my Sir, first time. In... Sir? Ay, na... Sir, yes? na-publish ko na yung akin, sir. Okay. Sige. Actually, this is my first time in doing this app. Nag-research ako sa internet. Ano yung mga possible um, online <laughs> uh, online uh, activities na pwede natin ma-explore aside from Intimeter and Tablet. Ay, nag-send ka na, Miss. Ano? Ayan! Congratulations! Nakikita ko na! Very good! So, let us read your answer, Miss Pakulba. Enjoy pala, no? Ang tablet.com. Miss Pakulba, please read your answer. Rexy Joy. Sir, blur po. Wait lang. Okay, sorry, sorry. Blur. Siguro nagahinay ang internet dito sa school. Kasi dito clear naman. Yes, Ms. Rexy. Basahan ko na, sir. Yes, go. As a conclusion, poverty and unemployment is indeed a major pro problem in our country. Many people is experiencing loss of money because of the pandemic we are facing. I now conclude that we should start to solve this problem so that people will not be as poor as they are. Okay, very good. So, I think no, no need to explain kasi it's very informational. No? Parang napapaiyak ako as Ms. Pakolba write her conclusion that talagang we are suffering now from poverty and unemployment. Maybe we cannot feel yung some parts but actually when we go to the field when we go to the streets many people talaga are suffering from poverty and unemployment especially yung mga nagtatrabaho sa mga government agency no kapag nagsabi yung may-ari na mag-close tayo and that is the most i think more sacrificial and very hurting part of an employee okay thank you so much for your idea miss pakulba how about other people? Nag-send na dito si Habanya, Escalada, and Ison. Pero walang nag mga laman. Nag-send na po ito, sir. Sir, nag-send yeah. na po, sir. Okay, let me try kung mag-reply ako. Ayan, di ba? Maganda palang tablet. Siguro ano, because of internet connection, hinay siyang mag- ano? <laughs> mag-absorb. Yes. Ayan. Okay. Did you read my reply, Miss Pakulba? Nag-reply ako dyan. Yes po, sir. Hmm, okay. Sige. So, wala na akong nababasa na mga answers. Okay. And I think... Ako, sir. Oh, sige lang. Babasahin ko na lang yan later uh, during my free time to check your answer uh, one by one. Now, kasi wala na tayong one hour lang yung ating klase. For this time, let's have our evaluation using Google Forms. Now, uh, let the student uh, answer the following question by writing or clicking. Kasi I will be using Google Forms, clicking the word true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. So, I will be sending the link in our group chat again. Just wait. Ayan. And then let's try. If you learn something today. Okay? Students, please click the link. Did you see the link? Okay. You need permission so, though, sir. Okay, wait lab. Online. So it is for ano permission.
Ayan, I try to send in our GC. Ayan na. Maka-access man lagi ako. How about sa inyo? Did you try? Kailangan pa ng permission, hindi na. Send link to the teacher. Okay, send link. Ayan na, nag-send ako sa, ano, sa GC. I already sent the link. Okay, wait. Sige, send. Puning ko ulit. Send link of our Google Drive. Wait lang. Copy. Mabuti na lang. We have a very good connection. Ayan na. Oh, Nag-send ako ulit ng link dito sa Google Meet. Kailangan pa rin ang ano? Permission. You need permission, Gapon, sir. You need permission, Gapon, sir. Dapat you need, ano, um, DepEd Gmail ba ang gamit niyo, class? Sige daw, again, itry daw ulit. Wait lang, I will be sending the link for our evaluation. Ayan. Sige daw, class. I-try nyo daw. Ayan. I-send ako ulit ng Google Forms. Wala ko man nala ko. Dapat. Ayan na. Kamusta na? Maka-answer na ba ako lahat? You need permission. You need permission, sir. Yes, permission, Japan, sir. Oh, okay. Sige na lang. We will going since hindi nyo ma open. We will going to read na lang the questions and then state your answer. Okay. So please read question number one, Miss Cleo. I hope it is clear. Conclusion must have the value of argument of your research work. True or false? True. Okay, very good. Correct. True. Correct. Next, number two. Please read Irish. Irish is on. Um, always remember that conclusion is a summary of your work. Um, for me, sir, it's true. Okay, are you agree? I conclusion is the for summary. Her, sir. Ano ba talaga, Miss Irish? Nalito lang ko, Sir Paul, sir. Okay, very good. Correct. Conclusion is not the summary of our work. Remember that one. Number three, please read. Read the question. Uh, Carla Shane. Hindi ko kayo maklaro, sir. Layo. Okay. Cherry and Absalon. Number three. Ah, sige. Si Miss Pakulba na lang. Please read the question, Miss Pakulba. Don't state what has been done in your work. Instead, bring out the outcome of the results and dis and discussions in forms of statements. True, okay. sir. Very good. True. 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 Meaning, don't just state what has been done in your work instead, bring out the outcome of the result and discuss in terms of statement. Yes, number four question, Ikleyo. You're raising your hand. I know, sir. The conclusion isn't the answer of the main problem of the study. True, sir. The conclusion isn't 
the answer of the main problem of the study. Are you sure? <laughs> it is said that the conclusion is not the answer of the main problem of the study. It is not the Poison. answer. Poison, sir. Oh. <laughs> okay, medyo confusing yung mga question. Actually, these questions are from our module, ha? Yes, on the assessment part. And last question, Miss Shane Stephanie Habanya. You're raising your hand. Present the last word on the issues or gaps raised in your paper in the conclusion. True po, sir. Okay, very good. But I will be expecting that you will go to answer some of the Google Forms, no? the questions in the Google Forms in our GC. If I follow up ko lang ito, kasi maubos ang time natin kung i-open ko pa, anapin ko bakit siya nag -lock. Okay, so for our assignment class, no, you will going to answer the following question and send your answer in my messenger or email or Gmail account. The question is, uh, please read Ms. L.V. Salazar. L.V.? Or mahina ang internet ni L.V. How about Ms. Umbin? Or John Ivan Vicente na lang. Like a racing hand. Vicente? Read the question, please. Read Okay, very good. So why do we need to conclude and recommend upon completing our research study? So it's just a follow-up. So I will, you will go to send your answer in Messenger or in my Gmail account. So once again, thank you so much for your participation. God bless and thank you for listening. Bye-bye. You can now live in our loop. Good day and thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day, ma.